Hey, it's Rory with SearchInShare.com. We have finally got our hands on the highly anticipated HTC 10 flagship smartphone. Is it a perfect 10 or a perfect flop? The HTC 10 has a lot going for it. In front, it's got a beautiful 5.2-inch Quad HD Super LCD 5 display. Inside, it's rocking a Snapdragon 820 processor with 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. That means it runs really smoothly. But what will catch your attention is the incredible build quality. It feels amazing in your hand. It's got a subtle ergonomic curve while the large chamfer gives the smartphone an edgy feel, giving you the impression that you're holding on to a much thinner phone. The buttons are also amazingly tactile. This phone feels better than any flagship I've ever held this year. The only gripe I have about the look is how low the fingerprint scanner and navigation buttons are on the front of the device. It makes the whole thing look off-center and that's a little annoying. But you'll be happy to know that the 10 has a relatively large 3000 mAh battery that also supports Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 via a USB Type-C port. Unfortunately, you probably won't be happy to find out that it only has one SIM tray. That aside, it's got an all-new set of Boomsound Hi-Fi Edition speakers which consists of a high-frequency speaker in the earpiece and a low-frequency one at the bottom. I haven't passed it to our in-house audiophile yet, but they do sound pretty solid to me. To complement the brand new boom sound, HTC has also bundled a pair of high-res audio headphones with every device. The 10 is the world's first smartphone to have OIS in both their primary and selfie cameras. Unfortunately, the 12 megapixel Ultra Pixel 2 camera at the back doesn't feel as snappy as the Galaxy S7 edges because it's noticeably slower when launching and taking photos. I won't give my final judgement on image quality yet, but from my initial impressions, they look pretty good. From what I can tell, the HTC 10 is looking like a really solid flagship smartphone. It looks good, it runs well, and it just feels otherworldly. I honestly can't wait to spend more time with this device, so definitely stay tuned for the full review. Right now though, this 2,799 ringgit smartphone is pretty darn close to a perfect 10. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one.